Founded in 1995 by musician, producer, and LSU graduate Jim Odin, FreeSonus continues with the goal of building professional and affordable music production tools for musicians and audio engineers for well over a decade. The company has succeeded in this vision, winning various awards and releasing some of the most pioneering, state-of-the-art, and sought-after audio production tools presently known within the industry. Our artist focus today is audio engineer, producer, and LA Recording School graduate, Jason Serrano, who uses personas in live performance in addition to studio production and mastering. Jason integrates the Studio Live 16.4.2 Virtual Studio Live and Studio Live Remote for the iPad to control and monitor the sound system at the Roxy Nightclub in Los Angeles. We will speak to Jason about how he uses personas in a live venue environment and the recording studio. Hi, I'm Aliyah Levin, and we're here interviewing Jason Serrano at his house this morning in the studio. Hi, Jason. Hello. How are you doing this morning? Thank you so much for having us over for coffee. We appreciate it. Yeah, not a problem. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, so I want to talk to you a little bit about your involvement with Personas and how Personas has affected your professional career in and outside of the studio. So you've mixed and mastered numerous records over the past decade, as well as for the past two years been doing live engineering and sound at the Roxy. Can you explain to us how Personas is used in your productions? Actually, I learned about Personas from a friend of mine who had the Studio Live 16 for two. Uh, he ran through it with me and I was sold. You know, I felt that uh, it was an all-around great product for the price, exactly. I did my own research, looked into it, and said, hey, you know what, let's, let's go for it, let's try it. Bought one, and changed my life. I can use it in live situations, I can use it in studio situations, and it covers basically all my parameters that I need to be doing live and studio recordings and mixing. How do you use the hardware and software applications at the Roxy? I'm using the Studio Live uh, at the Roxy for uh, live reinforcement. At the Roxy it's a little difficult because the uh, mixing board is actually behind a wall which is behind the band, so I'm in a sense doing behind of house um, as opposed to front of house. But with the advancements of Persona Studio Live I'm able to use the iPad and actually be able to be at front of house. So what I do is I set my gain structure and from that point I take uh, with me the iPad out to front of house actually and then I continue to start to sound check and it's great. It's the most easiest thing that you could use. I mean it's it's so self-explanatory. It's uh, friend, uh, user friendly. Can you explain to us the hardware, software, and wireless interface control systems? You hook up your laptop to the Personas board, and then from there you create a network, and then you hook the iPad to the network, which then controls the whole desk. Greatest thing, it has everything that I need there, and I can just cre keep going and create, create the mix as I need to. And that's the perfect example of being able to use this iPad as, as a virtual controller from such a distance, because I'm controlling the board from at least Oh my goodness, I'm a good 20 yards, we'll say, 20 to 30 yards away from the actual board. So that's how far of a distance that I'm able to use this controller and be able to use and control the mixing board. So great. And with little to no latency at all. It's as soon as I'm moving the, the fader or moving anything that I need to on the uh, iPad, it's already controlling it flawlessly. So on average, how many bands do you mix in a week at the Roxy? On average, mixing bands at the Roxy is continuous. It's great. I love it. It's, uh, I can get anywhere from, you know, 10 to 15 acts within a week to close to 30 to 40 acts in a week. You know, it, just, it really depends on the, uh, on the booking staff, of course, which they do a fabulous job at the Roxy. So they, they're keeping me busy, and that's the great thing about it, because there's so many bands and so many other dynamics that I pretty much have moved the Roxy board out and have brought the Personas board in 
pretty much every time I am there. And because it, it just makes it so much easier and it makes it sound so much better instantly. I introduced the Personas board to the Roxy Theater and uh, you know the other sound engineers that are there are jumping on board with what it can do. So it's you know there there might be just a time to where it could actually hopefully be a permanent fixture at the Roxy, which would be great. Why do you choose Personas over would-be competitors in the live sound applications? Using the Personas is, like I said before, very user friendly. It has everything that you need right in front of you. Your compression, your gating, your filtering, your phasing, your EQing, and your effects all right in front of you. It makes it really easy. There's, there's really no guesswork at all. And that's one of the reasons why I picked the Personas as well. Not only because of its great sound, but because of its user-friendly ability, because then you're that that much more efficient to helping the band and getting the mix going and creating a great final product. What feature sets Personas apart from others that you've worked with? Uh, a third octave EQ, which gets you a spectrum analyzer and a real-time analyzer, and it's a really efficient third octave EQ and it helps me dial in the sound so much easier and faster with the Spectrum Analyzer and the real-time analyzer. It's, it's an heaven sent. Now that we've talked about the live application, how do you use Personas in your recording studio? In the studio realm, I use the Personas Studio Live for everything that you would normally use a, a mixer for. Uh, I record, I mix, I'm even doing some mastering out of it as well. Uh, it's really responsive. And like I said, the uh, real-time analyzer helps me out a huge deal, especially on, the, on mastering. It works as an inline mixer as they have in major studios. So basically what you can do is, as you're recording in to your uh, DAW, which is uh, Studio Live One, at that point you bring it in, set your gain structure for your recording, and then on top of the board there's a firewire button coinciding per channel. So you set all those channels to on. And then what you can do then is you create <clears throat> create a monitor mix with the faders. So it's, it's, it's almost exactly like an inline board. So you're recording in and then still being able to hear your monitor, your mix with the faders and create a monitor mix. And it's, it's great. It's efficient. And it, I couldn't ask for anything more right now. Your most recent release Guide of Souls from Skylark Recordings, you utilize Personas Studio Live. Can you tell us how you utilize that in your production? With the Guide of Souls song, I primarily use the uh, Personas uh, Studio Live for the mix down, and then also some of the mastering. I kind of flip-flop back and forth with the mastering on that, but I, uh, it was mainly for the mix. I actually use some of the compression and gating for, for some of these situations. I used the gating for some triggering and it, it worked just fine. Uh, that's, that's the great thing about it all as well. I did do some recording for, uh, for a drum loop that I needed. And what you can do then as you're recording in, you could also use uh, the parameters. So for EQing and compression that I used for that, I actually used the board's compression and EQing and recorded that into the DAW. So it's, it's an, another thing that's great about this board. You set on the uh, dig out button here, you hit that and that's what allows you to bring in the persona settings into your recording. So Jason, I wanted to thank you once again for having us here, your time this morning. I know you're busy and I hope our viewers got a chance to really get a moment into your world and we want to thank you guys for keeping up with us and keeping up with Jason.